Hello to all you guys out there in YouTube land. Yes, it's me, DR. So, first off, first off, before I do shoe reviews, and I should have done this yonks and yonks ago, before I do even think about doing a shoe review, there's a few key things that you really need to think of when you're getting shoes, especially running shoes, but shoes in general, but especially running shoes. You're out there, you're trying to think about your first pair of running shoes. I hear loads of people talk about different brands and really and truthfully, they don't know necessarily what to look for when they're picking their running shoes. And that's really important because these things are going to help you during your running journey. They're going to sustain the weight. Uh, and when you're running, you actually apply four times your body weight on the floor with each, uh, each each last foot foot strike. So with each time your foot lands, you are applying a hell of a lot of force to the ground. So these things are the things that are gonna provide you with comfort going forward on your running journey. So it's really important to think about your running shoes. So the first thing I always think about is what is the purpose of my running shoes? And you might say, well, to run. But it's important to understand that different brands have different models and different models of shoe do different things and are really built for different purposes. Some people will go out there and they buy the most expensive shoe because that's the one, you know, from that well-named brand, that expensive shoe from that brand that we all know. So we all know the, the major running shoes. And if you don't know the major running shoe brands, they're thing, brands like Saucony, they're brands like Nike or Nike if you're American, um, Adidas, uh, New Balance, Asics, there's loads of brands out there that can offer you running shoes. It's really about understanding that each brand offers a ton of variations of their shoe. So a Nike shoe might be similar to a Hoka shoe. Uh, so it's really about understanding that actually within each brand type, there are so many different types of shoe that really fulfill your needs. So the types of shoes that are out there work all the way from the full range, from what they call those max cushion shoes, so those easy day, those long run shoes, the shoes built to take the pounding, to, to go out there and, and eat up the mileage, which will tend to have a lot of cushioning, be very, very uh, plush in terms of the way it feels in your feet, uh, almost like a memory foam mattress feeling all the way through to your race day shoe. Now your race day shoe won't be as comfortable as it. it's built for speed, responsiveness. It's built to propel you forward and, and help with that foot drive. So they tend to be lighter. They tend to be, uh, they tend to be, uh, firmer on the foot. So it's really understanding what type of shoe. So if you're going for shoes, ask that question. What type of shoe is this? Is this a max cushion shoe? Is this a daily trainer? Is this a, a tempo shoe? Is this a race day shoe? It's really important to understand that. Also, when you're looking at a shoe, it's really, really important to try your shoes on and see how they fit. One thing I will tell you is, yes, shoes do break in and there are shoes, this is an example uh, of an A6, there are shoes that after a period of time do mellow out. But from a tendency nowadays with modern, modern shoes to feel the way they feel out of the box. So you put them on, that's probably how they are going to feel. So if they feel uncomfortable to you, then it's time to find a different shoe. So try on your pairs of shoes, even if you've bought it online, try it on. Remember with online purchases, you do have the opportunity to return it. So the key is try it on, make sure it's comfortable. If it's not comfortable from that first fit, from that first fit that you put on the shoe, it's probably not going to be comfortable later on. It's probably not going to break out. Now there's always variations that do break in. This is an actual example. In my shoe review, I'll talk about this. But in general, when you put on that first, that first feeling you have with that shoe, when you put it on, that's probably how it's gonna feel later on down the line. So it's important, try on your shoes. Also with shoes, one really important thing when you're looking at it is where is the arch? Where's that arch? Even neutral shoes, where is the location of the arch? 
What I would always suggest is when you're looking at shoes, you map it to your foot. So you put it near your foot in some regard and just make sure that the arch is in a very similar position to your arch. Some shoes are different in terms of where that arch is. And if that arch is further down, you're not gonna get the arch support in your foot, even with a neutral shoe. So it's important for you just to do some measuring up, just to make sure your arch is in the right place for your foot. And that's standard across all shoes. I've seen so many people get shoes and the shoe isn't built for their foot. It doesn't feel that, it doesn't match their, where their foot needs support and the shoe will feel uncomfortable. So that's a standard across all shoes. Have a look where that arch is. Also, look at the toe box. Toe box, your, the front of your foot's gonna sit in that toe box. So this is going to be really, really important to you. Lots of people talk about the heel cup. Uh, you can get away with some heel cups with a really good lockdown and using what's called a runner's knot, but that toe box is so, so important for your running. If the shoe is not wide enough for your foot, then you will feel unbalanced. It will feel like you're running on a tightrope. Also, if you don't have enough room in the toe box, your feet will get beaten up. And that's where you tend to get the runner's toe that people have when they have a black toe, which they literally, it means their foot is hammering up against the front of that, that, that the shoe. So it's important for you to understand that if the toe box doesn't fit, you must quit. Don't buy the shoe. So that goes for all shoes. It's all shoes. This isn't just these shoes, that shoes, every brand of shoes, look at your heel, look at the width of the shoe, is it wide enough for your foot? And look at the toe box, is there enough room for your toes to move, to breathe? That's where some people go a size up, but it's important to try on the shoe and make sure the shoe fits for you. Anyway, this is DR saying thank you for watching this video. If it was useful, give me a like, share and subscribe. If it wasn't useful, then tell me in the comments box and I can make that better. But this is a standard across all shoes. When you're looking for shoes in general, those are some of the things that I look for in shoes. And it ensures that when I make the choice, when I spend that money, because shoes are expensive at the moment, so it's important that you make the right choices, you're making the right choice for you. Have a safe journey wherever you're heading. Guys, keep working keep going and keep striving.